angry guy here and women are attacking men who reject them. Guys, if you're enjoying this content, please help get this channel to 100,000 subscribers by subscribing to the channel if you already haven't, liking the video, and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Now, let's begin. So, women are attacking men who reject them. We talk a lot about the woman who attacked a passport bro who was, you know, coming back from his, his escapade overseas. She was furious that this man had walked away from Western society, that he is rejecting, actively rejecting black women. And as a result of that, she made one of the worst decisions of her life to try to put her hands on this man. And then she was later arrested and taken into custody by police who she is now uh, now who she's now facing additional charges for, you know, getting physical with. Let's watch the video. We've seen it a number of times. So we're going to watch it again, and then we're going to talk some more about the situation. Her off. Uh, uh, <laughs> What you trying to be? I'm on whatever you want. I'll beat you the fuck up. What you trying to be? I didn't if you really want to beat, what you trying to be? It's whatever. I'm too tight. Somebody know yeah. One day that I'm gonna rock your shit. Oh, rock your shit. You tell me I got dub. Stop being a Stop being a dick. Lady the room. Oh. Oh. oh my god. And of course, there are people like, why are they doing all that? This is you have a grown woman here, a grown woman who's supposed to be doing grown woman things and acting like an adult, conducting herself like a lady. Instead, she's out here trying to get into arguments and 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 into physical confrontations with with with, with grown men. And you know, when she's you know, has to face accountability. What does she do? She acts like a child. She th throws a tantrum. She becomes, you know, physically res resistive, you know, literally putting her hands on the police officers, causing a gash to, I believe it was a gash on one police officer after scratching them. And, you know, she, she, you know, she kicked one police officer. She bit another police officer. She almost caused all the police officers to fall down the stairs while they were removing her from the flight. I mean, this is this is a level of absolute degeneracy and lunacy, and she believes that she's in the right. And you know, she, like I said, this woman is facing up to thirty years in prison. Will she get thirty years in prison? Probably not. But she is facing up to thirty years in prison. Her, you know, she was carried off a Miami uh, flight after you know trying to fight a passenger. This article is from the New York Post, and her no name is Simone Bryna Kim. She's from Killen, Texas. And four cops dragged her off a Frontiers Airlines flight by her limbs after she threatened to put her hands on a fellow passenger and then tried to bite responding on cops. There are actually conflicting reports that say that she actually did bite the cops, but she definitely did scratch them and kick them. So this is this is absolutely ridiculous. And she was she said a lot. She really said a lot. She says, I will blank you the blank up. What you trying to be on, Kim yelled at a male passenger. I'm going to rock your blank. If you're real, show me what's up. I'm going to blank you uh, the blank up. 
on this blank. Gar I guarantee you, I guarantee you she continued. You're not even from Philly, she said to the man at one point as a woman tried to intervene. So this, this is actually crazy. This is actually a woman, a white woman that actually tried to stop this black woman from acting the fool. And it's it's on it's and you know it's you know it's messed up about the situation. Notice that the flight attendants were too afraid to get directly involved. They did try to calm the woman down, but they were afraid of her. Like like seriously, this is the world we live in right now. Because like don't ex like oh there's this level of professionalism. Nah, don't expect these so-called people that are there to protect us to actually protect us because they will run and hide. They will 100% run and hide. If this white lady had not intervened and gotten between Keisha, between Keisha and this young man that's walking away from Western society, she would have confronted him and she would have she would have put her hands on him. I mean, the police report literally says that she, you know, that, that she tried to put her hands on him. I mean, that's 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 right there. That is literally right there. Okay, she she threatened to put her hands on a on a passenger right before biting cops. This woman is absolutely a hazard to society. She should not be allowed back out in society. She really needs to be put, you know, put put away and kept away because this is absolutely disgusting behavior, you know. And, you know, Miami-Dade police said that during her arrest, she pushed the police officers. She pushed them. She pulled them as they were trying to get her off the plane. She reportedly scratched an officer, bit one of them, kicked another kicked others while being uh, while being arrested and she almost it almost led to numerous officers falling down the stairs as they were trying to get her off the plane we see that they that they did carry her and she was basically being dragged like a child if you notice this police officer is just standing watching this scene unfold this is and we you know they said that it was four police officers this is actually five police officers so yeah so there's one two three Four police officers that that were de that were carrying her. However, this is more than four police officers. This is actually five police officers. If you look, there's one to the left, one to the right, one behind her, behind that officer, and there's this one to the back, and then there's also another one to the to there's one to the right at the back, and then there's another one to the left at the back. So she actually had five police officers. It took five police officers to restrain this woman and to carry her away five five y'all this is the society we live in this is the society women act like oh they're so they're this and that but guess what when one woman goes off it you know women other women don't want to face them it's men who have to leave. there are some women helping but it's men who have to stand up and go deal with these violent individuals this is how modern day women are in society this is how black women think right now this is why black men have walked away from western society walked away from the, from these communities cuz look at the look look what these people did to their communities look what Keisha did to their communities look what Tyrone did to these communities and that's why Keisha and Tyrone are so furious. They're so furious because, you know, the cleanup crew isn't there anymore. The black men that were taking care of these, you know, being these step up dads and taking care of Tyrone's little, you know, his little grim, his little gremlins, his little monsters. It's not happening anymore. These men are not cleaning up their mess anymore. They're not cleaning up that, you know, the, the remnants of of uh, of once of what was once there. They're not cleaning up this community anymore. All right. They're not taking accountability for these people anymore. They are distancing themselves from these people. They are walking away from these people. They're turning their backs on these people. They're saying that, you know what? We don't want to have anything to do with these people. These people are not our people. These people are for the streets. It is from the streets they came and it is to the streets they shall return. OK, you can take the girl out of the streets, but you cannot take the streets out of the girl. I have told you countless times. I've shown you numerous videos where you have women who say that, you know, it's like they were doing well. They were in a place where they were so overall happy. They and then it's like something like the streets were just calling out to them and they had to go to the streets. And I warn you guys about this countless times that every girl has the streets inside of her. Every girl is born with the streets inside of them. The streets is a thing. It's a. It's something that if you do not clamp it, clamp it down, you know, by the time a girl is like, you know, growing up, you know, it, by the time she's 12 years old, it's really hard to stop it because the streets, is, it's, it's something that's inside of her is calling out to her because that is like, oh, baby, the streets, it's come, come to me. You know, there's all this fun. It's you can make your own adventure out here.
Yeah, you can make your own adventure out here. You know, I got something special for you, girl. <laughs> Guys, y'all remember Candy Girl with Bobby Brown? Candy Girl, you are my world. You're everything, everything, everything to me. That's the streets right there. That's the streets right there singing to her. Try to wine her and dine her. Y'all, if you're enjoying these videos, please help get this channel to 100,000 subscribers by subscribing to the channel if you already have it, liking the video, and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Black women are attacking black men who reject them. What do you guys think regarding this? I think it's a, I think it's just absolutely ridiculous, but it's just another reason why more black men and men in general are just going to keep walking away from Western society and relationships with Western society. But you know what I think? I want to hear your thoughts, so let's talk about them in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away, and cheers.